Welcome, folks, to just what might be our last episode. Here we are in the Marble Gallery. We have collected all of our lad items. And we are headed to the clock room. The end all be all of things in this game. Makes no sense. You'd think throne room would be, but meh. I want holy water, holy water, because holy water really is, is awesome. And I want so much, I freaking lost. And I wish I had my holy water. And I don't know where to go. I am just trying to follow my heart of holy crap. <laughs> Why does it hurt that thing, that thing, that thing? Why am I singing? I don't want the musical episode. But then again, we haven't done one yet in this last episode, probably. So, maybe I should, but we really don't want to do it. I'm still doing it, so I'm gonna stop now. No musical episode. It was a joke about the musical episode anyway. Not to mention, I'd have to do it from beginning to end, and I haven't done that yet, so. Let's do it for right now. Let's see how things go here. Ah! Oh, thank you. Run. Grab. Run. Jump. Flash. Fight. We can do this. I hate the spikes. They're really evil. Beep. No. Well, actually. Ow. Never mind. Holy water. Right? Holy water. Oh, hearts. Okay. No? Okay. And here it goes, folks. So tonight, unless things go horribly wrong, this will be the end of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Such a fun game. Such an easy game. Such a, I just destroyed you all and you all better bow to me because I did it. Because I'm awesome. What are you doing? Clock? What's down here? I believe... <gasps> Holy water! That's not there. Where are you? Here you are. And... Actually, get the heart from here. Then get the whole one. Okay. Let's go. What's over here? Heart refresh and no break wall. And save point, folks. The clear save point. 
I have now so-called cleared the game. The Dracula battle apparently doesn't seem to matter because we now have to go to. Maybe it does. Maybe it's right ten times. So apparently, I so well at least after you destroy Dracula, the end game. The pure. I had that safe point. Let's go up. J oh my god. Come on, up. Up. Jump. Don't jump. Okay, folks. This won't last long. I almost feel like I must as well get to the ending there. I mean, this is kind of useless, man. I'll be all. The final battle, folks. We will destroy Dracula. Turn off the timer right now. Folks, if you have seen my episode 17, then this is basically the same exact scene where the castle gets destroyed. 
So real fast, I'm going to turn off this timer so it doesn't go off in the middle of the rest of the game. It went off. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Alright. Maybe I should just let it go. <laughs> and the castle is destroyed in holy light because I kicked Dracula's butt. And I killed Shaq. And I saved Victor. And this is going to be the good ending, not the best ending. <laughs> best ending will be on Let's Complete Castle. It's not much different, I'll say. That was Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The song you hear on the credits is I Am the Wind. And if you actually want to hear the song without my disruptive talking, find it on YouTube. It's actually a quite beautiful song. I mean, I'm, I, I used to not be into this kind of music and stuff, but I recently I've opened my mind to be able to, I'm, I'm able to listen to almost any kind of music now. And I hear the song, it's, it's actually really beautiful. I, I, I like it. it. It's a great song. Um, but it's not for everyone. If you're not into soft music or lyrical music, you're not going to like the song. I can't really hear it right now. It's very quiet. Wow. Anyway, it's a great game. This was incredibly great. The storyline? Nah, he can do some work. But a lot of it's messed up because of the dialogue when they translate it to English. Although, some people don't like the voice acting in this game. I love it. It's it's iconic. And it's great. I mean, their voice acting isn't skillful, but I wouldn't trade it for any other voices in the world. Which is why I hate the remade version for the PSP. They changed the epic dialogue. There's no more, what is a man? I mean, really? They, they changed the dialogue. They changed their voices. Alucard sounds like a freaking pre pre uh, prepubescent teenager. And, no. No. This game, I like the dialogue here better. I'm sorry. Those of you who haven't played the PSP version, go ahead, go check out, um... Go check out that. Go just check it out online. Just go find some PSP dialogue. The only plus I could say is uh, the succubus doesn't sound like she's having an orgasm in that one. Um, Maria's playable in the PSP version. She was playable in the Japanese version of this too. Not the English though. I don't remember if it was the Japanese version or if it was the Saturn actually. I think it was the Saturn. Um. Saturn version's never been released in English. Saturn version had a couple other levels and stuff that this one doesn't have. So I really want to try and see. I've been looking for an English patch of the Saturn one. But if there is, then I can try it in Japanese. I've played the PSP, P PlayStation version. The thing is, I heard they move some stuff in the Saturn version. So it may be a little bit tricky for me. But I, I can probably get through it. Um. Huh. My next project. It will hopefully be Valkyrie Profile. Um. I've never played that game, ever, so it would be a completely blind LP. Thing is, um, I did test out the ROM, and I've made a couple of videos of it already, it hasn't been released to YouTube yet, 
In fact, in those videos it says I was going to be doing this during the Symphony of the Night LP, which I did, but I didn't release it during the Symphony of the Night LP. So, some of that isn't true. Um, some of what you may hear on there isn't revel anymore. Um, yeah, I had some problems in one episode. Glitched out, which you'll be seeing if I do upload this video. Now, because I'm, I'm probably going to upload them. Uh, I mean, they're just wasting space right now. But I want to see if I can rerun that emulator and try and fix it. Right now, the sound plugin's cutting off a lot of their voices. I'm going to see if I can try and fix that. And then one of the cutscenes froze. And that's where I left off, is when the cutscene froze. I turned off the video. So, like, see you next time. Sorry, folks. So far, the Valkyrie Profile LP has been a disaster since I'm playing it blind. And it's probably not a good thing to be doing an RPG like that blind. Especially when you get lost. I mean, people think they get lost in Castlevania. Yeah, it's like RPGs that you end up getting lost in a lot more because you end up exploring the place head to toe and you figure out, oh, you had to talk to one person in the little abbey with behind a locked door where you gotta find a key under the floorboards that was can only it be appear there once you got the stone of Vilment. It was like, what? But, um, I don't know. It's just no, it's just an example of RPGs and what they can end up doing to you. So, like, yeah, I really... I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, Valkyrie Profile. And if those of you haven't seen Valkyrie Profile, you get to find out a new game. What be? I'm getting a new game, and I'll be finding out about a new game. It's my try I've had good experience with try uh, I should wrap things up before they go on for too long. I love this game. I'd recommend it to anyone. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. If you have seen, if played Arya or Dawn of Sorrow, uh, GBA and DS, then you really have to see, especially Dawn of Sorrow, by the way, then you really should see uh, Castlevania Time Distortion. It's a comic on the internet. Just look it up on Google. It's brilliant. Um, really, I can't really think of anything else to say. I'm, I'm so glad you guys were able to stick with, with me through this. I'm surprised that I finished this LP all the way through in no time at all. I'd like to thank Christian and James for helping me out. Robert, my friend Robert, helps me out in the beginning of the Valkyrie Profile LP. Um, and Josh was about to help me out with this, but then it didn't work out so well. But yeah, thanks to everyone. Um, thank you, Idiot 9.0. You're, you're a great friend even though we just met and uh it was nice collaborating about your your lp and um i really enjoy your lp at first it was meh it, it but i i i don't know i i really like it it's incredible um i hope you enjoy my lp as much as i enjoy yours mine's probably horrible it's the first lp i've ever done but hopefully Hopefully it's still good for being my first. Um, so yeah, I'm making things get too long. Uh, so yeah, thank you for every thank you everybody. And you're probably not watching up to this point because I've probably borne you all to death. So if you're still here, I I, I, I still thank you. Um, and if you got any suggestions for any other LPs, make sure they're in a before the PS2 era. Really can't do anything around there. So PS1, N64, maybe the Dreamcast? I don't think so, though. I don't know. Um, just shoot me up a few suggestions, and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching, and tune into the next project. Bye.